Hello humans, Master Denerflex here, bringing you the low quality content you deserve, and today, I'm going to be showing off a combination deck uh, of Lunar Light and Punk. Now, I wanted to have a discussion on all the applications of the new Punk deck, or I should say the new Punk card and how it makes the engine kind of insane for a lot in a lot more decks than you would expect it to be uh but i actually have a video explaining some of the combos you can do uh and i made it a while ago so i'll just leave that at the end of the video but basically this engine has really like completely changed some of the things it can do in some decks and randomly, this is one of them. So today, for this quick combo, I'm actually going to do two test hands with Luna Lights with the Punk Engine. So um, I joined a room and drew a random hand. I did some test hands prior to see its consistency. And like, uh, it's actually very consistent, surprisingly. Uh, it very rarely bricks. It actually is more consistent than Luna Light builds I've been playing, including like tri versions and whatnot. Um, because as it turns out, all these bullshit, I'm gonna put a million bricks in my deck combo decks, as long as they just establish something, they're probably fine. Uh, but let's get into it. Uh, we actually have full combo in this hand normally for Lunalite, but we're gonna ignore that for a moment. We are going to go ahead and activate Foxy Tune from our hand, discard it, and then... At resolution, we'll send a card from hand to graveyard to special summon Seaman, and then Seaman will activate, pay 600 to add Deer Note. And then we're going to activate Deer Note in hand, because we have another punk, we can just do this. So there we go. Now, normally, if you don't have full combo yet in Lunalite, when we go into Chaos Ruler, we're going to go Chain Link 1, Chaos Ruler, Chain Link 2, Deer Note. But since we actually have everything we need, I don't need to do that. So I can just use Deer Note and nothing else. And then, as Summon 4, we'll summon back Foxy Tune. And as Summon 5, we will summon Photon Lord. And this card, you can detach any material from it to negate a monster effect. Uh, so, there you go, Nibiru Proof. And what's even better is we have a normal summon. So let's go ahead and get that Kaleido Chick. And now we'll start playing. So, we will go ahead, send Yellow Martin for Kaleido Chick. And now I'm just going to do a... I can't say basic, because this is... Uh, multiple parts of this combo are new specifically to Defo. But we're going to overlay the two level 4s into a bird for Strix. And this will search a level 4 dark bird, which we will search Singing Lanius. Then we will link those two birds... And to this bird, and this bird will summon this bird out of the deck, Zephyros Elite. Uh, this has already used its effect, so we will bounce this to hand with Yellow Martin. And then overlay the Yellow Martin and the Zephyros into the second Force Tricks. Detach the Zephyros specifically to go ahead and search Raider's Wing, which Wise Tricks will trigger to set a rank up. Now, we'll use Lunar Light Tiger again to special summon back Kaleido Chick. And Kaleido Chick will just keep dumping. Uh, one thing I do is I dump all the Yellow Martins, um, and if I can, I want to send both Emerald Bird and White Rabbit. White Rabbit is a card I started playing a while ago during some test ideas. And White Rabbit's actually really good, not just uh, as a really secondary tiger, but more the fact that it just bounces back row. Um, anyways... We've sent the next Yellow Martin. Now we are going to use Raider's Wing Detach from this. And we're going to overlay those two level fours into our first Exosister. And you guys know this combo. I've been doing it multiple times. We get to search and then summon Elise. Bounce this to our hand with Sephiros. We'll take 400 damage. And then we'll overlay these two level fours into the blonde blonde will detach one to search uh right now armament because you don't play 
Mattis and a combo deck. Uh, if you want to use the Exo Sister Engine in a combo deck, this is how you go about it. Just one Elise, one Armament, and a deck that can span level fours. And then now we have a better version of F Zero on board. Now, we will go ahead and finally use uh, Tiger for the last time this turn. And we will link these three away into Apollosa. One, two, three. And then we will pay half our life points. And that will allow us to summon back a Force Trix. Which lets us go into Infinity. Um, and then we'll set this and we'll end our turn. And on our opponent's draw phase, we're going to activate Photon Lord uh, to attach Galaxy Cyclone to it. Now, if you don't want to play this card, don't. You don't have to play this card. Uh, but I, unironically, was already playing this in Luna Lights before because it was an Emmet, it was an out to Floodgates before you, uh, like, if you draw Foolish Burial Goods and you're stuck under a Floodgate, you could just send this and then pop it later. So I was already playing this. Um, but if you're playing this and Photon Lord, you just get to attach it from your deck on your opponent's turn. And uh, this only negates monster effects, but if you detach a Galaxy card, aka Galaxy Cyclone, it also destroys the monster. So, uh, it's like a neat little bonus. Not to mention, it just puts Galaxy Cyclone in the graveyard if you detach. So, it's like, kind of neat. But that's basically it for this combo, but I didn't even get to recognize that Chaos Ruler never milled. And it's so good to mill in this deck, because not only can it add back every Luna Light, because all of them are dark, except Tiger, that's a light. Um, but more importantly, if you're milling the spells and traps, it can just tutor to any card you need. So you can get very, very far with the Chaos Ruler Engine. So uh, this is combo one. I'm going to do one other test hand to show you just how insane this can really be. Now, under normal circumstance, this hand would not do anything. However, we have the Punk Engine in our deck, so we don't have to worry about that. And I'm going to show you kind of some of the insane levels of synergy this deck has. So we're going to start with Teleport. Um, and we're going to get a uh, Seaman out of the deck, and we'll pay 600 to get... Uh, we're actually going to get Ogre Dance, because you'll see why in a moment. Let me get back up to 4,500 and then take away 600. Now, this is one of the cool things about Punk in this deck. Not only can Chaos Ruler trigger some of the graveyard effects of your Lunar Lights, but Foxy Tune can also do it. So we're going to activate Foxy Tune, send it from hand to the graveyard, and now on Resolution... We can send a card from our hand to the graveyard to special summon a punk from our deck. And guess what? That triggers Yellow Martin, which means we get Serenade Dance. Um, and if you don't know, this is full combo. We have Perfume, Serenade Dance, and a Lunar Light in Graveyard, which means it's full combo. Which means I get to summon this Chaos Ruler, and I still don't need to mill. So, uh, Foxy Tune. We'll uh, get revived by the Deer now. Then we will overlay both of them. For Galaxy has Photon Lord. And then guess what? This is full combo. Because we get to revive this. It might actually be a, let a little bit better than full combo. Give me a moment. Because now we will search and activate Tiger. And we will banish for Serenade Dance. Toss the Ogre. To summon... Kaleido Chick. Yeah, this might genuinely be, be better than full combo. And it was a hand that in a normal Luna Light build would do literally nothing. But this isn't normal. I'm not normal. Haha, <laughs> I'm so cool. And then we would just attach to get a bird. Um, where's my favorite bird? Or my fourth favorite bird, I should say. And yeah, this is just more than full combo. Uh, because... We haven't normal summoned, and we haven't even used uh, Tiger yet. So, we actually will end up with like one or two extra level fours. Uh, so we could possibly even make an extra rank four at the end of the combo. But as you can see, like, 
the punks actually like triggering your graveyard effects is really insane for this deck. Um, not to mention tossing spells and traps or milling them with Chaos Ruler or doing all this stuff with Chaos Ruler is pretty nice because let's just say I did mill with Chaos Ruler. Um, one of the reasons I try to avoid it if I don't need to is because as you can see there's like obvious Garnets that you don't really want to mill. And look at that. It's, that, that wasn't the case with this one. Um, yeah, you could just do a lot of cool stuff with this. Uh, but yeah, that's basically all I had to show you. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And before you say, wow, this deck is filled with bricks, congratulations. You have described like half the combo decks people are playing in this format. The plant deck is on several bricks. Um, the theory on punk build is on several bricks. Uh, the, like... Synchro, Brave, whatever, I can't really think of it, Rose Dragon thing, that's a deck full of bricks. Like, all the decks right now are just filled to the brim with bricks. So, like, um, the bricks really don't matter if you can still play without them, and that's why I showed off this hand, is because it was filled with bricks, but you dug your way out of it because of how these cards function. But yep, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. And remember, Master Interflax will take your soul.